What's up, Willowbrook? Today we're in Hebrews chapter 6, where we read that some believers were waiting on God's promised salvation. They were waiting for the return of Christ. And some other believers, for whatever reason, maybe it was persecution or other things, were drifting away from the faith. So the author of Hebrews writes to his audience and encourages them to keep staying faithful, keep doing what they're doing, and, and to patiently wait for God's promises to be fulfilled. And he uses Abraham as an example on how to do this. He, he talks about how God promised to Abraham that he would have many descendants. And in times where it looked like this promise wouldn't be fulfilled, Abraham still continued to trust God until eventually that promise did come to fulfillment and even continues to come to fulfillment through Jesus. Well, you know, God has promised us things as well. Just like the believers back then, he's promised that his son will return one day. And also another promise that I think is beautiful in Revelation 21, we look ahead in the future where it says that one day that God's dwelling place will be among the people. He will dwell with them. And it goes on to say that there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, and that he will make all things new. But you know, when you look around at the year 2020, which has been hard for all of us, you see COVID and you see the current political climate and you see racial injustice and it looks like anything but God's kingdom. And when we really look at these things and begin to focus on all the things around us, just like the Christians back then in the first century, we can begin to be pulled away a bit from the faith. But as believers, we're not called to just hope in what we see, but we're called to hope in, in what we can't see, in the promises of God, in the God who, in this chapter tells us today, who, who cannot tell a lie. So we put our hope in Him. And in verse 19, it says this, We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. And this hope we have in God is not just a wishful thinking, but it's a great expectancy in a God who is faithful, whose character never changes. He never wavers. That's the God that we hope in. And as we just read, that this hope is an anchor for our souls. This is what will keep us from drifting away from the faith, is when we hope in God. I love Psalm 42, verse 11. It says this, Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. So today as we're waiting on God's promises and we look around and maybe we don't see those, let's remember Abraham and how he trusted God. He walked with God faithfully and patiently because our hope isn't based on what we see, but it's based on the character and the faithfulness of our God. Put your hope in God. God bless you.